Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel before you leave. And for those of you who have been here for a long time, forever since I started my channel, um, welcome back. So, oh my God. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impressions. Sorry, my nose is itchy. First impressions uh, review tutorial, review slash tutorial on the Violet Voss Wildflower or Windflower, Windflower uh, eyeshadow palette. I got this in my Ipsy. I guess it was a free gift or something in everyone's uh, subscription. So these are what the shades look like. So unfortunately they don't have names. So we are going to, I'm just going to point to the shades that um, I'm going to be using so I'm just trying to think because there's not very oh pff, so much for that I'm trying to pull out my eyeshadow brush flat shader brush and it's broken so we're just gonna have to I just put it back together so I'm just using a flat fluffy sort of shader brush and I'm just gonna take the matte white shade or matte cream shade and I'm just going to tap off the excess and I'm just going to set my lids and I'm going to go all the way up to the brow bone my nose is itchy so I'm just taking it just to set that concealer or base or whatever um, when you're doing your eyes it is recommended that you don't use a concealer because concealer does tend to crease so you can go in with the, if you want to go drugstore, I have the I Love Stage eyeshadow primer, which is like two to three dollars. And if you're bougie, bad and bougie, and have extra cash, you can also go in with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And sometimes if I want my eyeshadow to last like longer, um, like throughout, uh, like, like for a long time, I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. NW20, yes. So this is what it looks like. You can go to any MAC store to get it. So that's what I used. Or, yeah, that's what I used for my eye base. So... Yeah, like I said, I don't know, I'm going to go in with a little bit more just in the crease so my eyeshadow does not skip or be patchy. Same thing. Okay, and then we're done with that brush. Um, so the next shade that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be going uh, from light to dark. So I'm gonna go be, be going in with this shade. They don't have any names, so yeah. So we're gonna go in with this shade first. And I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush like this that has hair all over it. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. This is, my brushes are shedding supposedly. Okay, well that's just going to have to be the way it is. So we're going to go in with the lightest shade, which is this one, lightest transition, the shade right here. And I'm just going to pick it up. It's quite a bit of pickup. And we're just going to tap off the excess. And I'm just going to go in to my crease in circular motions. We're just gonna go like that. Can you even see that? Um, same thing for the other side. I normally put tape, but because I did my base already, I don't want to ruin my base. But you can always like bake the sides of your eyes just to catch any extra fallout or just to keep that sharp edge. Um, so 
go like that. And then next, I'm going to take a tighter compact brush and I'm going to go in with the next shade next to that. It's a little bit darker. So we're just going to pick it up like that. I don't know how this is going to work. Okay. So we're just going to lift the eye and just exactly where that is. And then what I like to do is I like to go in with a clean fluffy brush, nothing on it, and just blend the edges. <sighs> same thing, that same shade on this side. Now we're going to go in with another fluffy brush and we're going to go in with this shade right here, um, this one. So just like that and I'm just going to keep it on the outer part, not bringing it in, just keeping it on the outer part. I want to try as you try and use as many colors as possible just on the outer part and just blend I have hooded eyes so any color that when you close your eyes you just kind of want to bring it just right there because when you open your eyes, it's like that, but when you close your eyes, you can't even see it. So I'm going to take a little bit more and just go right there. Because then, regardless if you have your eyes open or closed, you can still see that color. <sighs> so same thing. And I'm just going to go like that. this side and I'm going to take a little bit of the brown on this side and just deepen it up a little bit on this side and then same thing on the other side okay and then just to blend the edges, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a different sort of brush, different sort of like a packer brush. I'm going to take the matte white right here and just take a little bit on the brush and just kind of like lift my brow and just blend the edges right here. So we get that nice little, nice fade. Okay. Same thing for this side. You can always like kind of tilt your brush like straight up. So it goes downwards instead of sideways. So you can to like swipe. This is for like to swipe uh, color on your lid, just on your lid. And then if you want to like blend, softly blend, just take your brush and just hold it directly like this and just go back and forth. Just to blend the brow bone highlight and the transition colors together. So now what I'm thinking is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to pack a shimmer like two different colored shimmers on the lids so I'm going to take I took this one first this one here and then 
This is for the inner portion of the eye. Okay, I'm going to take the rose gold shade right next to it. And then blend the edges. You don't want the shimmers to go in the crease. You want to keep them low. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush like this. I'm going to take that dark brown. And I'm just going to pack it on the brush like that. And I'm going to lift. And we're just going to blend into the crease. And I want to deepen the crease a little bit more. There's no black in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my drawer and I'm going to grab a black shadow. So I can, I have so many single eyeshadows in my drawers that it makes it difficult to find. So hold on. This is the only one I can see here that is not carbon black. It's just that the writing is worn out. It's the not carbon black and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little tiny bit and just on the outer portion, just right here. Same thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, I'm going to take the same shadow, I'm going to take a flat shader brush. Jesus, cannot find, okay, so we're just going to use an angled brush and I'm just going to take black. And I'm going to line my lower lash line. Just on the outer parts. Because we don't want to close off the eye. So we're just going to like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the wildflower or the Windflower palette and I'm going to take uh, I even there to take a Jesus would help if I my brushes were a little bit more organized um, okay I cannot see anything Okay, well, this is going to have to do. Um, so I'm taking that brown, this brown right here, I'm going to smudge it in the lower part. Same thing. For this side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, whatever, okay, I'm going to take one of these blender brushes and I'm going to take this shade, the orangey shade, right, where was it, right here. And I'm just going to blend. that down it's 
just like that. So we're done with that. Now what I want to do is I want to take a, bla a brown eyeliner. Brown. Brown. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a green, this one. I'm actually at the very end of it, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it in my waterline. to take a liquid eyeliner any black liquid eyeliner I am taking the Kaleidos cosmetics liquid eyeliner Gonna open it shake it up and just going to line my upper lash I'm still practicing my wing liner. That's the only thing that I fail that I'm not good at. But other than that, everything else is on point. So same thing. Don't worry about the gaps because we're going to cover it with a uh, tight lining. I love doing this eye. This eye is just horrible to do, so. And it's even easier to wing it out. Like, look at that. This is my bad eye. When I do it, it's horrible. And if you feel like you took your dark shadows up too high, you can take a little bit more of the matte shadow with any shader brush. I'm gonna take my flat shader brush and I'm just gonna dip back into the white and just take that along the look under the brow and just bring it down. Okay, same thing. And then, for the inner part, the inner corner of the eyes, I'm going to take. Hmm, I am going to take my Wander Beauty highlight, and I'm going to take. Uh, a brush. Small brush. Jesus. Okay. Mm. This is so ridiculous. Okay. Where's my... My brushes are so freaking unorganized. It's not even funny. Okay. Nope. That's not it. Okay. Well then, oh, I guess this is just going to have to do, so I'm going to take this brush, I know it's a little bit big, but, and then we're just going to take that and we're just going to pop it on the inner portion. Ooh, see the difference? No highlight, 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 no highlight. <laughs> okay, same thing. And I'm going to take a little bit more of that highlight and I'm just going to bring it down. Same thing. 
this side. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna try this. I know we have a crap ton of highlight, but love this. show you my drawers they're literally throwing up no joke okay now I'm gonna go in oh the wrong drawer I'm going to go in with my oh there it is L'Oreal voluminous carbon black and I'm just going to take my extremely zoomed in mirror whoops sorry <laughs> didn't mean to like flash you guys and I'm just taking my voluminous carbon black hold on let me hold it up properly so you can see so that's what it looks like and oh wait 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 I forgot to curl my lashes can I do this? Oh yes, yes, oh yes. Okay, and I'm going to curl my lashes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you know what else I forgot to mention is you can use your lash curler to like do like more of a defined cut crease. I learned that from a friend of mine so if you want to do more defined cut crease i don't like defined cut creases just because i have small eyes i mean to make them bigger yes but like um not me <laughs> so we're just gonna go in with my mascara and i'm just going to coat my lashes And I knew, I know, uh, I'm going to hear it in the comments. I said that I was going to do some videos uh, regarding like stuff from my boxy charms that I have received in the past. Um, I'm trying to actually use up the stuff that I have in my drawers as of right now in order for me to bring up the newer stuff. So I'm just trying to use that up. But let me know if you guys want to see first impressions. I don't think I don't I don't think I'll mind doing a first impression for like one or two items but yeah let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see I will definitely be doing a palette collection video like my newer palettes that I've received from BoxyCharm and Ipsy so yep and so that's the top lashes and then for the bottom lashes, I don't have any bottom lash mascara, so I'm just going to very carefully, whoops, don't want that, very carefully take and wiggle my bottom lashes. I always laugh at girls that are on YouTube and they're, they're like applying their mascara with their mouth open. I get it now why they do it because it stretches the bottom lash line holy crap or their bottom lashes like skin stretches it don't mind me i don't make any sense at all at all okay so we're done with that um next we are going to line my lips using the Bodyography, what is this, Rosewood Lip Pencil. This is what it looks like. So, and it's just a typical wooden pencil. So, I just lip. 
lining. They're extremely soft. just like that you can fill in your lips but I prefer not to um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a gloss before I put my liquid lip on just because it tends to dry my lips out it has a little bit of color and I'm using the Violet Voss lip treatment. You don't need to add color, but I'm extra and I'm going to. And this is the Ofra Cosmetics um, Madison Miller Lip Gloss. So this is what it looks like. That was a lip gloss or a lip. What was this? lip treatment and this is a lip gloss so i like that because it has a little bit of color but i'm gonna kind of i like lavender shade lip glosses that has a little bit of lavender in it And I'm going to go inside the lip, too, because I don't like butthole lips. And if you're scared of getting lip gloss or lipstick, what you can do, this is a little TMI, but you can take your finger and just go like that. And that way, your inner, like in here, you won't have extra and whatever excess you have is going to be on your finger. And you can just wipe that off. And then, what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to top off with a couple of glosses. Just because I'm a lip gloss freak. All my lip glosses are in the back, but I found this one too. I'm going to do Luna by Luna lip gloss in the shade Venus. And this is the shade right here. It's sort of like a brownish shade. I'm just going to take that and just kind of put it in the center. I tend to do more of a um, glossy lip. Actually, you know what I want to do now that I'm here? I don't want to go back in afterwards. I'm going to intensify the crease a little bit with a little bit of... Um, Carbon by Mac. <sighs> Mac is such a thing. It used to be such a thing now, but now there's like so much competition with beauty brands, especially. It's like, what the hell? Like, what am I supposed to buy and what am I supposed to like leave behind? So, I don't know. But uh, the good thing about BoxyCharm is you get to like try a whole bunch of new brands but I stopped my subscription just because I have so much stuff and um, I haven't really had the feel to get feeling of the feel for the new products so I'm just, I put that on hold and I'm now just kind of using what I have and this is brand new by the way that I use today so yeah and I really actually like it I'm just going to intensify the outer corner right here and keep the darker colors lower and if you feel as if you went uh, you want a little bit more transition between the darker color to the lighter color what you can do is you can take that orange shade or that yeah that orange shade right here take this shade 
and just ever so slightly just go right on the edge of that darker color to blend it out. Look how pretty that looks. I always find one side looks better than the other, but I don't know. But this is what I, this is what I like. Makeup is my passion. Um, yeah, I've been through ups and downs in my life, but um, I started to express my feelings through makeup, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that. So, I don't know how many people are going to see this, but hopefully you guys will, uh, you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this transformation from zero to a hundred. <laughs> um, except the hair. Uh, yeah, so if you guys, if you guys liked what you saw, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I don't have a set schedule right now, but whenever I have time, I just kind of come on here and do my thing and upload and see how many views I can get. And um, yeah, I just go upon that. So I don't know. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed how this, or really liked how this turned out. Um, yeah, don't mind the hair. I need to like do my roots and touch up that's why it's up in a bun i didn't even want to straighten it today i was that lazy but yeah um subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and i uh, will see you guys in my next video love you